Now we're going to install a trick F tilt bracket, which allows us to mount a collector at a steeper angle on a shallow pitch roof like this one. So we slide the bracket into our collector connector, and we fasten that down. With our trick F rail mounted on our roof brackets, now we can tilt the rail up and attach the leg. That one's set, now we can go on to the next one. So the cool thing about this trick F thing is I can adjust the tilt of it to get my ideal orientation. So with this bolt loosened on my tilt leg, I can slide this back and forth. Now for my latitude, I'm gonna set my collectors to 45 degrees. So I use my tilt meter, I set the leg where I want it, and I tighten it down. Now that I've set the angle on this trick F bracket that I want, I can take a measurement from the back of the tilt leg to the back of the rail, and that's seven and a half inches. I can apply that measurement to my next triangle to get exactly the same tilt. Now, if I don't happen to have an inclinometer to measure the tilt that I want, I can use a tape and take this measurement again from the back of the tilt leg to the back of the rail, and there's a table in the manual that tells you what distance will give you what tilt now that we've got the angle established for this triangle, we need to make two more measurements. We want to make sure that the end of the bracket doesn't cantilever beyond our roof mount more than eight inches, and that's about seven. And we want to make sure that the bottom of the tilt leg does not cantilever out beyond the other foot more than eight inches, and we're at four and a half, so we're in good shape here. Before we mount the collectors on our Trick F brackets, we need these little pieces of mounting hardware, and we're going to put the bottom ones on so that the collector fits right under that notch when we slide them on. So all we have to do is bolt this on here. And our collector's ready to mount right in that slot. Now we want to put the top clamp on the Trick F bracket and we have the same piece of hardware as we used on the bottom, only we're gonna set it offset so we can just drop our collector in and then slip that down over the collector. So we're just going to bolt this on here. And set this up as high as we can get it. So the collector will just drop in and then we can just slip this down over the collector like that. Before we lift this collector on the roof, we're going to install a handle, which makes it easier to pick this thing up. It goes in a little track. There's a little solid block that goes against the edge of the collector, and we tighten it down. And then we can lift the collector. Now we're going to lower the collector down onto the clamp and lay it down on the top. Now that we have our collector sitting flat on our Trick F bracket, we can loosen this nut on the clip, slide it down over the collector, and tighten it up. <laughs> 